What's going on everybody? I hope you're all having a blessed day and a beautiful day. Now listen to this. When I make these videos, I come at you live and I come at you with updated info and I come at you with what just happened. I literally just hung up the phone with one of my clients and he shared with me some insane facts of what happened with the home that he had, how it sold, to whom it sold, for what price it sold, and why this market is doing what it's doing. And I'm going to share with you guys to give you some proof of why the housing market has been so chaotic, so expensive, so pricey. And also in this video, what I'm going to be chatting with you about is mortgage interest rates have officially fell to low points. You're talking 2.7%. You're talking it was in the threes, the low threes. Now it's in the twos back again. You're talking about there is another virus going around and it starts with a D and that virus is not a virus that people are taking lightly and they're worried it's going to be like the other virus and things are getting very scary and very uncertain once again. So guys, in this video, I'm talking about two things. Number one, the housing market and a certain thing that's making it so hot. And number two, how mortgage interest rates dropped and how you shouldn't be overpaying for a house just to get a low interest rate because that at the end of the day doesn't offset itself. If you don't buy a house for 200 grand over its asking price, just because the rates are low. Stick around and enjoy. All right guys, so I have my laptop right here just to touch on some stuff and make sure that I don't get off track. And we're gonna start off with mortgage interest rates. They have dropped to 2.78%, which is very low, which is attractive for an investor, for a home buyer, for someone who's trying to get into the market. And that's kind of what's happening in this market is that the rates are so cheap Everybody wants a piece of that. Everybody wants to buy because it's so cheap. And they're like, what if the rates go back up? What if they go to four, five, six, seven percent? What if inflation forces the interest rates to go up? We're talking about mortgage interest rates specifically. What if it forces those rates to go up? So people are like, let me overpay for a house right now. That's going to be okay because I'm getting such a low rate but that's not the case guys, let me explain. Right here what I have is a mortgage calculator and I'm plugging in some numbers right now that I'm gonna share with you on the screen. The first number I have is the purchase price is $500,000 for a house. The interest rate is 2.70% on a 30 year loan. 2.70% on a 30 year loan. Your monthly payment is $2,027.99. Keep that in mind, the numbers are right here for you to be able to see it and for you to be able to know what exactly I'm talking about. Now, we're gonna change this from 2.70%, we're gonna put it at 5.5%, okay? Same $500,000, the number now is $2,838.95. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the 2838.95 minus the interest rate at 2.7% was $2,027.99. Your monthly savings from a 5.5% to a 2.7% on a $500,000 home is $810.96. Now we can't neglect that the equity and the interest is gonna be of course offset it as well. So at 2.7%, your actual equity is $902.99. And at 5.5%, your actual equity is $547.28. A lot of numbers, I understand it's kind of crazy, but understand where I'm going. Right now, you might buy this $500,000 house. It's actually worth 500 grand. Because rates are 2.7%, you put in, or the house is listed at 650,000, 700,000. I'm seeing it every day, I'm a real estate agent, every single day. I see what's on the market, I place offers, I sell houses, I do residential real estate, I see it. So what we're seeing is a $500,000 home on the market or sells for six fifty seven hundred thousand dollars $700,000, of course, depending where it's at. Now this number, instantly, people are paying it because they're like, I'm getting a 2.7%, it makes sense. And that's not the case because you overpaying for a house not realizing that you are paying $150,000, $200,000 more for this house is actually hurting you more than you know, more than you think. Because you can actually go 
and get a house for $500,000, not $700,000. And instead of getting that 5.5%, you can just buy down the rate, the interest rate at the time of it being high at 5.5%, and you can buy it down to 2.7%. How much is that going to cost you? $10,000, $20,000, $50,000, $100,000? Yes, you can buy down the rate and many don't know that. In fact, if you're a loan officer, if you're a lender and you have experience in this, comment it below and give your expertise on this. You can buy down the rate from a 5.5 to a 2.7, let it cost you $60,000, let it cost you $100,000, but guess what? You are still saving money because you were about to pay 200 grand more for that house because the rates were low. Are you guys following with what I'm sharing with you? So my point is don't go out buying a house because the interest rates are low, but overpaying for the house defeat on the purpose of the low interest rates. The monthly mortgage payment looks so attractive, I understand, but you can buy down the rate. You always get from the lender selling you, do you want to buy the, you want to buy down the rate a quarter? 5.5, 1, 2, what do you want to buy it down? And you just, you basically as a buyer, you can stipulate the number you want and how much you want to pay for it. Of course, they have the origination charges and how much it's going to cost to reduce the number, how many basis points and all that, but you guys understand that you can buy it down so you don't want to go overpaying for a house because of the low interest rate, because then you defeat the purpose of the low interest rate. Are you guys following me? Hopefully you're following me because if you're not, watch this. That house that's worth 500 grand and now you paid 700 grand for it at a 2.7% rate. Remember, it's 2.7% because you decided I'm going to overpay because the rate is low. That house is $2,839.18 every single month. Are you guys following me? Now we're going to put the house back at $500,000. We're going to put it at 5.5%. And that payment is $2,838.95. What's the difference on that? The difference is 2839, 2838.95 minus, we're going to put it at 2.7% at $700,000. The difference is, you're going to be shocked, 2839.18. 23 cents. I wish that my laptop was connected to the screen so you can be able to see what I just did but it's not for this video. So you're just going to have to have the numbers in front of you here or here or wherever. 23 cents you're saving, or actually you might be losing by doing that move. By instead of buying a house that's actually worth 500 grand with a 5.5% interest rate, you go out and buy it for 700 grand with a 2.7% interest rate because you believe the interest rate's low, you want to lock in the good payment. You don't realize that the payment is exactly the same as if you were getting a 5.5% rate because you overpaid for the house. Guys, don't overpay for real estate just because of the interest rates. Get good deals, be smart, get a good rate, but don't overpay saying, oh, the rates are low, this can make sense. Low rates make house prices go higher and therefore make you overbid, especially in this housing market crisis we're in with house prices being so expensive, inventory being so low, and things being so chaotic. So now that you guys kind of got my scope of, yes, the low interest rates are low, you can actually still get beat and actually pay a little bit more, if not a lot more than what you would typically pay if the rates were higher. I wanna transition to this real quick before I end the video. My client told me, now he's my client in the commercial real estate world. He does his own residential deals. Don't even ask me why or how. That's just how it is. I do a lot of commercial real estate, so he hired me because I'm the professional for the commercial real estate for him, and he's actually an agent himself, but as a residential real estate agent. So he's like, I'll do my deals for residential. Karam, can you do my commercial deals? So he owns a shopping center. I'm helping him lease out, and he tells me that he listed his house on the market. This house is worth 300 grand, 320 grand. He ended up listing it for 400 grand, which I told him is overpriced. He ended up selling it for 375 thousand to a company that all of you more than likely know known as open door now this is a whole other video that i want to make three hundred seventy five thousand dollars open door a professional smart quick close cash company was willing to pay him because they understand how crazy this market is the second that they bought it from him they relisted it for four hundred thousand dollars what does that tell you? 
And that tells you that their profit looks like it's gonna be $25,000. It's gonna be gross, not net. They got commissions, they got fees, they got closing, and they gotta hope they actually get the $400,000. $25,000 buffer, that's not that much. You're asking yourself, why is the housing market so expensive? You're asking yourself, why are prices like this? That's the answer. Big corporations and big idiots overpaying for real estate and making the prices just keep on going up and making the area's value just keep on going up and somehow, some way, they actually sell, they profit, and they do it again. Crazy stuff, but on this channel, I bring to you exactly what I see on the real estate world. I'm in it every day, boots on the ground, and I'm here doing it every single day, guys. So I love, I love bringing to you what it is that I know and what it is that I hear. It's July 22, 4 p.m. This video is supposed to be uploaded at 5 p.m. I got caught up with phone calls. I got caught up with deals. I got caught up with real estate, and I'm making it late, and it's more than likely gonna be up to uploaded at 7, 8 p.m. But it doesn't matter, because I'm bringing you real life things every single day. If you guys enjoyed that and get value from that, hit the like button. It shows me your support, gets me motivated, and I make more content like this. And most importantly, guys, if you get any value from this, subscribe. I upload three times every week, and I love seeing you guys on my videos, every single video, commenting down below and chatting with me. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be safe. Don't get hustled by the low interest rates. And more, most importantly, understand we're in a hot market, and it just is what it is, but things are cooling down. Things are taking a shift and things are getting a bit better. This is just case by case, but stay updated if you're looking to buy a house because I promise you things are gonna get better. Anyways guys, I'll see you all later, I'm out.